Hi everyone, my name is Paulina Arroyo and I work at the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation in the Andes Amazon Initiative. The Moore Foundation is a US-based philanthropic foundation whose mission is to create positive outcomes in science, environmental conservation, patient care program, and the San Francisco Bay Area's preservation. For this episode of Stories in the Field, I'd like to share with you our perspective as a donor on how we perceive environmental conservation and the evidence that's necessary for conservation work in the field, and how to write your grant proposals based on that. The Moore Foundation proactively looks for uh, the partners that we want to work with in order to achieve pro uh, the programs and strategies and goals that we've chosen. The founders' values are very much focused on durable impact and measurability. We have seen a general shift away from nature conservation and biodiversity conservation over the last few years. And in particular in the Amazon, where most of our uh, work is focused, in the Andes Amazon Initiative, we have seen a shift of moving away from environmental conservation. And so that's why it's more important to have projects that are really focused on conservation targets, hum human well-being targets, and how we have uh, the evidence that supports those uh, projects. And in order to make calculated risks, we really do choose then the partners that we want to work with. The biggest challenge really in preparing your proposal is identifying and understanding what is the problem you want to solve, what's the context in which it's in, and how do you, how do you intend to solve that problem. Uh, identifying the conservation and human well-being targets is also the next biggest challenge because it really makes people focus on what is truly the essence of the strategy and, and, it, and it also challenges you to prioritize your, your problem solving. Another challenge is writing very clear and specific and measurable outcomes and objectives. Um, there's often a confusion between what's a, a deliverable and a product and what is your objective. And so that's really where teams tend to struggle with. Um, some of our partners who have used the open standards, I have seen that the tools that the open standards use are really helpful in helping the teams to focus on what is the conservation target, analyzing better the context, and really defining your scope of the problem you want to solve. Based on these decisions, you're able to come up with very um, realistic measurement plans. The most important issue for us is clarity on the theory of change and on the project targets, and also to explain very clearly how you're going to achieve those targets. It's also very important to have um, what your intended goal will be over the long term, knowing that sometimes your project planning will only be in the short term, meaning two or three years. Usually we do grants for two or three years, and that can be a challenge because you have to be able to identify what are the milestones you will achieve in those two, three years, but knowing that the overall outcome in terms of impact probably won't be achieved until beyond the project's life cycle. So knowing what the, you can do in that time frame and knowing what will come later is also a big challenge that many teams grapple with. It's also very important to understand the funding audience to align your visions and perspectives with the donor's objectives. Communication, communication with your donor is vital in order to understand what's possible, what are your expectations, and what's your donor's expectations. If possible, try to find what, out what the potential funding for uh, possibilities are because you need to align your objectives your targets and your indicators in line with what the time frame and what the funding availability is. It's sort of like a puzzle. You know that you will have at the end of your planning process a very elaborate plan, but you will probably have to parse it out in certain chunks so that depending on what donors' interests are, you might need two or three donors. It's very unlikely you'll get one donor to fund your entire plan, 
but if you're able to divide it into certain sections to to get funding sources without compromising, obviously, or putting at risk your overall outcome, that's also going to be one of the biggest challenges that teams will have. And for some final tips, um, trust and honesty with your donor is key. Sometimes we're always afraid to tell our donors when things aren't going right. But in the case of the Moore Foundation and a few other um, private foundations, we actually want to know when things aren't on track because we want to be able to help and work with partners in resolving those problems. So I hope these tips are helpful and good luck with your grant writing.